Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you that how to take screenshot inside the browser of HTML plus CSS and convert it into a PNG or JPG file so using a dependency called as uh, HTML dash to P uh, image so basically you will see that if I click this button it will take the screenshot of this file here and uh, if you see it has successfully taken the screenshot and now it is converted into an image so I can right click on this and save image as and if I can simply save this image as a PNG if I open this you will see that it is successfully captured all the things that is out there to, and it has converted the canvas to a image file inside our reactjs application so for this dependence uh, application we are not using HTML to canvas so we are using a dependency which is HTML2 image. So this is a very popular library. So this is the official documentation of this plugin here. So it has got over 1000 weekly downloads. So it's a very popular library. So with the help of this you can convert this to a PNG, SVG or JPG as well. So we will be taking a very simple example inside ReactJS application. So this is my ReactJS application guys. So simply just create a simple ReactJS application. So let me just uh, delete all this stuff. And here if I just write here, hello world. So if I want to start this application. So first of all, we will install this dependency, which is HTML2 dash image. So just install this command. And uh, with the help of this, it will install it. So once installed, you can start the application npm run start. So I have given the link in the video description guys of all the source code that I am using in this tutorial. So I have written a complete blog post. So this is a blog post. So you, you just need to go to the video description link to download all the source code. So it has started the application. So just wait, it is starting this application on localhost 3000. So hello world is there. So now instead of hello world guys, we will be having a simple right here. We don't need the logo. So right here we will be importing the react dependency. So just import it from the react. And also we will be needing the render library. So this will be react dom and lastly we need to import this dependency which is import star as html to image and we need to import this from html to image that's it so just import it and now right here inside just go to index dot just go to the public folder and simply go to this file here. So right here, you will have to declare a simple dev tag, which you need to convert this to a, uh, take the screenshot. So basically we will have a simple dev tag. We will give it an ID of content. And inside this, we will have a heading, simple heading of hello world that's it and uh, lastly we we will be including this file which is uh, this file app.js so right here inside this file guys we can target this so we can simply say that var node so we can use document dot get element by id so we will given this id to it of content so we can just simply target this using pass this id like this so after this guys what we need to do is that inside this return statement we will have a simple button so this will be generate pdf so inside this button guys we will have our on click this is the inline function we will declare it on uh, arrow function 
so here guys we will initialize our html to image library and inside this there is a function out there which converts to png and here we will pass the reference of node and this returns a promise dot then so this will con uh, contain the data url so here we can simply say we can initialize a new image and uh, we can initialize the image source to the data url which is there and lastly we can add this image document dot body append child and we can pass the image that's it so we can also handle the error as well so if any sort of error take place we can console log the error so this completes the application guys so let me run the application so generate pdf so now guys you will see that it has taken successfully the screenshot you can see it has taken the screenshot you can save this image on your computer as a png file you will see that instead of this hello world you can copy paste the code that i have given in the video description so this is kind of uh, Uh, let me just copy the whole tag so go to the here and paste it here paste it so also you just need to write some CSS so this is the CSS that is applied to this so right here after the head portion simply have this so so here we need to rename this to main content instead of content so if you refresh it now you will see this click generate pdf and now it has successfully taken the screenshot you will see that you can save this image like this so if you zoom in you will see the quality is not decreased the quality remains the same same when you take the screenshot and in, you convert this to an image document so the quality remains the same so in this way guys you can convert any sort of screenshot of canvas to a actual image file such as png or jpg so if you want to convert this to a P, uh, jpg file that you can call this method which is to jpg so this time this will convert this to a jpg file instead of uh, png so you will see it will have a black background because the jpg file has a black background that's why so it's nice to convert this to a png so we also have some more methods which is if you want to convert this to svg you also have this option so if you now save this image this will convert this to a svg file so this is a svg file so you can see that this is as svg so you can also convert this to blob as well pixel data or canvas as well so all the options are available to you so depending upon which options that you want so oh, you can go to the video description link guys to download all the source code and uh, please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video